Hi everyone, this is Kelly from Sunphone. Today I'm gonna show you around our little cladding workshop and I'm gonna introduce you our most popular little cladding machine in our global market. Come on, let me show you more. XFR6563 machine has complete functions, diverse performance and strong versatility. It, can, it will be suitable for some simple work pieces such as the shafts and the plates and it will be also suitable for some complex work pieces such as the balls and curved surfaces. Now let me introduce and demonstrate you in more detail. The machine is really standard with 6 meters long balance and 6 meters long robot walking axis and for the robot we really use Fanuc and Kupa robot brand and you could choose other brands also and for the chart we usually use 600 millimeter diameters chart and for the rotation meter it is usually with 1500 millimeters okay now let's switch to our powder filter zone for SFR6 63 we usually use the magnetic barrel powder filter zone and for each one, it is really low, 2.5 liters. And it is clear to see that it has two glass bottles. So if you think it's fine for you to take some powder in it, you could clearly to stay. And here is a little thermal bottle to make the powder very well. And uh, it also has other functions such as uh, non-stop refilling powder and hay trainer and uh, shortage alarm. If you shortage of the powder, it will be alarmed. And it's the uh, destructor to keep the melee. And here is the powder fader panel and you could adjust some parameters on it. And for this zone, it is our airflow, and airflow is usually from 3 to 30 liters per minute. And the powder quantity is usually 0.5 to 150 grams per minute. And the air pressure is usually 2 to 6 bar. Okay, now let me show you our water chiller. Come on, follow me. This is our water chiller and usually the 6 kilowatts data source you are equipped with 6 kilowatts water chiller and for water chiller brands we usually use HMA, Hongfei and Hanli to choose and you can say it is our protection gas pipe to protect our data source and even the data plant has and that way is our water pipe and for the water chiller we usually equip with pure water and with the anti freeze with competition better no more than 30 percent okay and here come to our little source for this one we usually use max and breakers also the little line you could choose for sfr 63 standard machine we already use six kilowatts and you could choose 12 kilowatts also and the uh, six between a uh, six with 12 usually the 12 will have more efficient and it will be highly improve your process efficiency okay that's our little story now here this one is our robot control cabinet and for this one, it is our full system electricity cabinet to control the whole video planning system. Okay, follow me. Okay, now let me introduce you our robot fix axis. Okay. Okay. Now I will show you the six axis operate process. Okay, now digital. Okay, now it's the first axis. Okay, there we go. Okay, now it's the second second one. Okay, the second one. And here is the third axis. This one. Okay, now it's our fourth axis. 
ดิวกระโดดเอาไปเลยเพลง now it is our fifth access ดูดิวกระโดดชูดิวกระดิวชูใช่ไหมอ๋อชูดิวกระโดด Okay, here is our sixth exit. Okay, that's it. Okay, now I'm gonna introduce you our leader class. Uh, for this one, we usually equip LY say zero six, and this is our high speed leader cladding hat. And you could check it has many protection lens to protect our leader source and our leader cladding hat. And you could check about this leader cladding nozzle. It is four way leader cladding nozzle. And here is four-way laser cladding, four-way powder feeder, and here connect with our powder pipe, and here is our water pipe to our little to our little cladding water chiller. And about this button, you could adjust the laser beam. Your lay LYC06 will adjust to two to five. Uh, two to five millimeter the laser beam, and you could check this lower uh, protection lens. You could check it is a door design, and it will be easy to put it in and put it out. Here, you could check. Okay, okay. So now it is very easy to be put in and easy to change. And for the standard FSFR safety serial machine, we could also equip with other planning heads such as LY C04 and the inner planning head. But one thing is, when you want to choose a little planning head, it is better to equip with a 35 kilograms thunder robot and also should more bearing weight robot. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna show you our available accessory in our little clan machine for SFR6063. Okay, for this one, it is our LYC06. It is usually equipped with 12 kilowatts data source and it will be more efficient than the 6 kilowatts data clan has LYC04. And it is it is also have some protection lens to protect the laser clad you had and the laser source. Yes, and it is a high pre a high uh, cooling effect to protect it very well. And it is also here the button to adjust the laser beam manually, so it will be easy to control. Uh -huh. Now let's switch to this one. It is our uh, rectangular leader cladding head. It is usually equipped with some 20 by 2 millimeter and 40 by 2 millimeters. So it will be more efficient to use in the shafts or plates for pieces. And for this one, it is our leader clad inner head and it usually uh, should use with the worker piece should with less 60 millimeter. Yes, that means the minim minimum six minimum diameter six millimeter. Yes, and for this one, it is our actual uh, powder feeder uh, powder nozzle, and it will be equipped with some for some narrow spots and for some narrow gaps to process. And now change to our powder nozzle and powder separator and it, this one is our four-way separator powder separator and equip our four-way powder nozzle you could check okay very good design okay now it is our two-way powder separator to say two-way and it is usually equipped our there's a clan in our head to use to check okay and uh, this is the four-way powder nozzle i just mentioned to equip with a powder separator and the powder 
from these components it will send the powders through the powder the powder pipe through these four ways and it will be uh, very well to gather okay now let's change to our this one uh, you can say if you check it is our ring powder nozzle and it will be the powder will be with concentration and around the laser beam very well and the laser beam will be more concentrated in one small zone if you check okay now it is not clearly to see it okay okay now i'm gonna uh, let our engineer help us to do some sampling for you okay here is our engineer, Mr. Zhe. Uh, can you help us with the Okay, okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's see its process. Oh, yeah, yeah. let's put our glasses first. Safety the first. Okay. Okay, now we are ready. Okay. Now our engineer will do the sampling. The robot, the laser clamp pad is moving. And we should, yes, you can check the laser with the chart. Now the laser cladding is in processing and let us engineer show some parameters for us. Oh. For this work piece, uh, we clad a uh, one millimeter thickness. And this is for what company? Uh, okay, for this uh, work piece, we usually use the in some steel iron and the ON and electricity and coil mining and etc. industry. So, our legal cladding process is a wide range of industries we use. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have some time to clean things up. Uh, uh, the efficiency is really uh, uh, the efficiency is really uh, 0.5 square meters per hour. So the efficiency is very high, you can see. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna test the very PC harness. Okay, let's switch to that one. We will use our professional equipment to Test the harness. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna test the harness or workpiece. And before the cladding, the thickness is very lower and it is no more than 20 HRC. And after cladding, the layer thickness go up to uh, 40, 50, and 60 HRC. And now let's test the, this one. Okay. Okay, now we test this one's layer. Wow. It is 46 HRC, so it is very hard and after cladding, you could say it, it is very good quality and best you could have, okay? And for the powder, we usually use iron-based alloy and nickel or iron-based alloy uh, and also some tungsten carbide to choose. Yes, that's it. As you see, our SS bar 663 is very multifunctional and easy to operate. So, if you want more details of this machine, do not hesitate to contact us. See you next time. Bye.